Oh, I do have something funny I want to show you guys. So obviously a lot of people are still talking about these like stupid Pokemane cookies. It's still, it blows my mind that these fucking cookies are still a talking point, Chad. Why the fuck do people give so much of a shit about these stupid fucking cookies? I, I, I genuinely don't get it, Chad. I genuinely don't get it. But I found this, I found this moment so funny. There's been times in the past when people have been super like ridiculously outraged about a product that gets come out, whether it's like an influencer product or, you know, whatever. Uh, there's been products in the past that people have gotten super outraged about. And I just thought it was really dumb, the outrage for the product. And I bought the product just to spite the people who were mad. Like I had no intention of originally buying it, but I bought it anyway, just to kind of like, well, it pisses you guys off that this product exists. So fuck you. I'm buying it anyway. Uh, guess what chat? Tippy bought the fucking cookies. I bought them. I bought Pokemane's fucking cookies, chat. I literally bought these stupid fucking cookies just because they piss everyone off. And there you see it. There's my order. I ordered the fucking cookies. And I've seen some people asking if I'm going to try them on stream. You can bet your ass, okay? There's already some people on Twitter that are shitting on me for this purchase or whatever. I literally don't give a fuck. You think I'm the only person that's buying these stupid, like as, as a content creator, you think I'm the only content creator buying these stupid fucking cookies just to make content out of them? Of course not. I'm willing to bet like half the sales of the first batch are literally just content creators making content out of this shit. So we are definitely going to try them out on stream uh, when I get them in. Uh, let's take a look at some of the responses though. Uh, we have, uh, Sella Dragon. Is this how you pronounce that? Sella Dragon. Same cookies. Uh, has been on sale for years. Uh, bigger package. Um, bigger package. Less cost. Gluten-free. Grain-free. Hell, just missing uh, the hint of mushroom for vitamin D. She didn't do anything special, uh, but sell essentially the same cookie in a smaller quantity for more money. Fair criticism. Uh, she's actually wrong about this when she says that these same cookies have been on sale for years. That's not actually true. Uh, essentially, the company that Pokimane is working with, they made these original ones, these Totsie Mini Midnight Cookies, and they made like a test batch, basically, and they just didn't sell well for whatever reason. So they discontinued them. So they made one test batch and they sold them at places like Costco. And because they didn't sell well, they just stopped producing them. And then Pokimane was like, hey, you know, I actually like, you know, the flavor of these. And I'd like to put out my own version of them. So like, why don't we like work together, refine the formula a little bit, uh, add some vitamin D to them, and then we'll like repackage them as my own thing, basically, pretty much. So that's not exactly accurate. It's, it's, these haven't been on sale for years, but anyway, we got Jalen, friend of the channel. Jalen says I got wobbed. They said I got wobbed. Someone says that I that I posted this screenshot as bait and that I stole somebody else's screenshot. So I proved them wrong by replying with the confirmation email. I definitely bought these. This is for real. 100% will need a live stream review. Emmy, live stream review is happening. <laughs> Ellen Degenerate, friend of the channel. Cookie review when? That's happening for sure. Lux Gamma, also a friend of the channel. $32 for essentially 16 regular size cookies. Unbelievable. Uh, just go to Walmart and that tub of sugar cookies, my man. Uh, this was the funniest thing to me. And I actually did tweet about this. I quote tweeted my own tweet with this because this was like a common thing that a lot of people were saying. And it's just like, you're, you're missing the point, right? You're missing the point on the, the sale of the, the, the purchase of the cookies. I like how literally I said I bought these for the meme and all the replies are like, but you could have bought insert popular brand cookies instead for less. But those cookies aren't the meme cookies though, lol. I literally just bought them for the meme and also because I'm a content creator and I thought it would be funny to turn them into content. And it, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Uh, anyway, uh, but you know, Lux Gamma, she's a friend of the channel, so it's cool, it's cool. So basically it's also, so it's 32 for 16 uh, regular size cookies, $32. Uh, I don't, 16, 
We're like, I, I've seen some people say that, that like so the bags only have like four cookies per bag or something like that. I don't know where like that's coming from, but obviously we'll see how many cookies. So basically uh, there's $7 a bag or something like that, but you have to buy a minimum of like four bags. Uh, and it comes out to $28 with shipping. It comes out to, what was it? $33 essentially. Yeah, $33 with the shipping. Um, so we're gonna find out when these come in, like how many cookies are actually in the bag. And then of course, if they're actually good, you know, I will say this, I literally just bought them for the meme because of the price. Cause you guys may remember yesterday when we talked about this, I did say that, yeah, they're a little pricey. Um, so normally I wouldn't buy a product like this, but it's literally just for content. So, uh, so basically it's $7 for each bag. Since it's a four pack, uh, it's uh, times four. Uh, that's, so this is a four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's right. Okay. You pay $28 per shipping for a pound of cookie shaking my head. Uh, I think it's really funny when people get like super outraged over how other people spend their money. Like, why do you get so upset about how like another person spends their money? Jeez. You got absolutely robbed, dude. Wait, it's not even free shipping. Like... I'm not going to say like no product offers free shipping, but I mean, let's be real. Like you're not going to get free shipping for like most things you order on the internet. Since you're getting them, you'll review them, right? Yes, of course, of course. But uh, anyway, so that's some of the responses. So yes, when the cookies come in, we will be reviewing them on stream. Okay, chat. We will absolutely be reviewing them on stream. I'll taste them, let you know how they taste. Uh, I'll let you know um, if I think it's worth the price. Uh, although probably spoiler alert, I probably won't think it's worth the price. I could probably tell you that right now, just based on how much they cost. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'll let you know how many come in the bag, et cetera, et cetera. We'll look at all that stuff and, uh, yeah, it'll be some pretty fun content. So more to come on that chat, more to come on that one week later. All right, chat. So as you guys know, uh, about a week ago chat i told you guys that i was going to be doing a stream segment where we reviewed uh what i have been jokingly calling the e-girl cookies chat oh, shit. Oh, shit. i went ahead and i ordered the infamous pokimane mina cookies uh, i actually tweeted this out i literally bought these stupid fucking cookies just because they piss everyone off lol and uh these things cost me 33 dollars with the shipping chat so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take a look at the cookies uh, right now. But before we actually take a look at the cookies themselves, uh, we actually have a guest in the Tipster Studio headquarters. Uh, say hello to Mrs. Tipster chat. You wanna wave to the, the folks? There she is. You can kind of, you've kind of seen her hand there. It just kind of like peeked off to the side. So Mrs. Tipster's camera shy, so she won't be on camera. But I am going to kind of like extend the mic over. You want to say hello to everybody? Hello. I don't know if you guys can. Can you hear Mrs. Tipster? Oh, okay, chat. You want to say hello again? Hello. Okay. So let me know, chat, if you can hear Mrs. Tipster. Uh, she probably won't be talking a whole lot. Uh, but she's going to try the cookies with me. And uh, we're going to do like a little segment here where we try uh, the cookies. But did you guys hear? They're all saying hello to you. Awesome, awesome crowd here. But here they are, chat. This is the box that the Mina cookies came in. So we're going to take a look at these. I'm going to go ahead and unbox them right now. So let me go ahead and grab my, my knife. And we'll unbox these real quick. Uh... What, what's the safety thing you pull towards yourself, right? <laughs> no, you don't pull towards yourself. You de you definitely do not pull towards yourself. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're not supposed to pull toward, towards yourself. All right. Uh, okay, so here we have it, chat. Here's the packaging. Uh, let me kind of... There we go. What does this card say? Uh, the card says, uh, thank you. Our mission is to create great tasting snacks with only the best ingredients so you can enjoy them guilt-free without having to stress about what's in them. Thanks for snacking with us. If you have questions, feedback, or just want to say hello, please feel free to reach out to us at hi at minasnacks.com. And it says, uh, it's like, it's not a real signature. It's a printed signature, but it says Pokey and Darcy. 
chat. So nice little warm greeting there. And here's the packages. What's that? Darcy is her business partner for these. So they kind of like went in together to make this possible. But I, I, I bought the minimum packs, which is four packs chat. I bought the minimum. So these are the Mina snacks, mini midnight cookies. It says deep chocolate, velvety white chips and sea salt. So, and they come in different color bags. There's like this, there's that blue bag. There's this purple bag. Uh, we'll take a look at that in a second. So they gave me two of the blue bags. And then I also got this beige bag. They're all the same cookie. It's just different color bags, but uh, hopefully they're good. Show us how you Mina join our flock at Mina snacks. So that's the inside of the box. So, okay, so we have the cookies here. And Mrs. Tipster said what's in them again. It says deep chocolate, velvety white chips, and sea salt. They are GMO free, gluten free, and they're, uh, they claim to be a good source of vitamin D. What's, deep what's what? Deep it's they're chocolate flavored. My understanding is they're supposed to be like, kind of tastes like Oreos. So if you like Oreos, then maybe you'll like these. Uh, looking at the calories and, you know, all the nutrition facts and whatnot, because I know a lot of people wanted to know that, uh, it's, uh, 140 calories per serving and there's four servings per bag and a serving size is about seven cookies, which is 28 grams. Um, so total fats is nine grams, which is 12% saturated fat, 3.5 grams, trans fats, zero grams, cholesterol, zero milligrams, sodium, 75 milligrams, total carbohydrates, uh, 14 grams, dietary fiber, two grams, total sugars, eight grams, uh, included eight grams of added sugars, uh, two grams of protein, the vitamin D, uh, there's three, what is an MCG? Does anybody know what an MCG is chat? Whatever an MCG is, there's three of those for vitamin D. Uh, calcium is 19 milligrams. Iron is one milligram and potassium is 263 milligrams chat. Oh, shit. Oh, so that's the nutritional facts. If you wanted to know about that. So, um, they also say it's plant-based. Apparently they Pokimane said in the H3H3 live chat, they don't have the certification needed to call them vegan. So that's why they say plant-based instead of vegan. Uh, something like that. Uh, it's sweetened with coconut. Interesting. So it's sweetened with coconut. So you ready to try these? Mrs. Tipster does not look very enthused. Micrograms, that's what MCGs are. So are you ready to try these? Mrs. Tipster does not look enthused. I'll tell you that much. So let's crack them open. I will say this, first of all, I seen some people claiming that each bag only has like four cookies in it. It definitely feels like a lot more than four cookies in there. So uh, I don't buy that, but let's go ahead and let's crack it open. Let's give it a try. Let's see. Let's give it the sniff test. You want to give it the sniff test? Ooh, they do smell good. You know what they smell like to me? They smell like cocoa pebbles. You know the cereal cocoa pebbles? It kind of smells like cocoa pebbles, right? Oh yeah, true, 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 true. Yeah, they smell, they smell like cocoa pebbles to me. That's what they smell like. Okay, so this is what they look like. They're really tiny. See that? They're like little snack size. See that? Here you go. You can have one. Don't eat it yet. But uh, I mean, they look good. <laughs> they look good. So we're gonna try one, chat. We're gonna let you know if these are any good. Okay? So. Cheers. Three, two, one. You know, they're not bad. They actually taste really good. My only complaint, they actually taste really good. My only complaint is the, the texture of them. They feel almost stale. 
right? Like, it doesn't taste bad, but they, the way they feel when you chew on them, they kind of feel stale. Do you want, you want to try another one? No? You're good? But, uh, yeah, I, I actually like them. Now, in terms of cost, like, I enjoy them. Like, if they, if they were cheaper, I'd probably buy them again. In terms of cost, I essentially pay $33 for four bags of these. I would not buy them again. They're, they're too overpriced. They're too overpriced. What it comes down to is it's $7 a bag, and then you also have to tack on the shipping. Um, too much. I, I wouldn't pay that price. Now, if they can get it down more to, say, I think I'd be willing to buy them again if they were, like, $5 a bag. I'd, I'd probably be willing to buy them again if they were $5 a bag. But $7 a bag, it's just too much. It's too much, in my opinion. But in terms of flavor, like, I like them. What do you think? They were all right. Mrs. Tippy says that they're all right. So I don't know. Yeah, I think I think that they're okay. Uh, but it's just the price point's just wrong. If if I'm being completely honest with you, I just think the price point's wrong. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, they're. Well, I'll have another one. They're they're pretty good. I gotta be honest. They're pretty good. Do you think they'd be better with milk? Mrs. Tippy thinks we should have got some milk. But um. Yeah, they're not bad. It's just the price point ain't right. That's that's the biggest problem is the price point ain't right. But um, yeah, I think they were pretty good. Let's get another round of applause for Mrs. Tippy. 